Yesterday we spoke about making insects a much bigger part of our protein base, basically eating more of them. However, of course, there's a broad range of insects and there's a fair bit of research that tells us what's going on inside those tiny little heads. Dr. Carla Clark joins us from Brain Bloggers Psychology and Psychiatry section. She's the editor of that section. She's the co-author of Mind Your Head. Oh, I wonder what that's about. Carla Clark, thanks for joining us. Hi there. Thanks for having me. So I understand you've put together or had a sort of a broad look at the different pieces of research that examine what might be going on inside um, insects. What what do we know? Mm, Well, the thing is, is it's kind of got a lot of philosophy uh, mixed in with all the science there. And there's a lot of opinion still behind it all because we still don't really are even at the crux of the matter of what even emotions truly are. But, you know, for me at least, the, the question, do insects have emotions? It's, it's nothing new, really. For me, it was like one of the first questions I asked as a, a kid collecting bugs, you know, do these little guys, uh, are they petrified of me right now, chasing them around the garden? And, like, from an evolutionary perspective, from Charles Darwin's influence uh, in the 1800s. Uh, so the idea has been around for, for some time that emotions are evolutionary adaptations that aid our survival and promote and guide reproduction. And so um, it's, it's not illogical to assume that insects have emotions. And since then, we've been, been doing many, many experiments to to kind of find out whether they do have emotions or not. And and even I, 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 that's what I want to know the answer to, Carla. Is there any I, – I follow the train of your logic and your argument. However, I guess I want to know, is there, is there any hard evidence about what they feel? Um, hard evidence, um, I, again, it's down to the interpretation because many, many scientists are still – you know, very uh, emotionally uh, battling uh, this concept. Um, but I could give you an example of an experiment because there's many and they're, they're yeah, quite Yeah, give us varied. an example. That'd be good. Yeah. Um, uh, honeybees is a great example. It was a cool experiment uh, performed by a, a group of researchers in the UK. And um, so what they did is they basically seriously, seriously pissed off uh, one set of specially trained bees. Right. And they, sh- they shook them violently to kind of simulate like they were being attacked by, by another animal. Well, they kind of were, like, by, by the researchers. And um, uh, then they compared the behavioural responses of these presumably uh, very angry bees to some um, undeserved, undisturbed bees. And um, uh, these bees, like I'd mentioned, they'd been preconditioned to, to like a certain odour and, and dislike another one. So the scientists then made mixtures of these two chemicals in different proportions. And what they uh, expected to see was that the less angry bees um, uh, would, would behave differently than, than, the, than the angry bees because the, by experiencing emotions... They had a long-lasting effect that then affected their future choices and sure. decisions, just just like with us. So, um, the ang- what they did find was that the less angry bees were these kind of glass half full kind of bees, or this is what they interpreted. Right. Okay. That these bees quite happily approached mixtures that had some of the nasty smell inside, while the angry bees, on the other hand, they had a kind of glass half empty response. And they were less to- tolerable right. of the nasty smell. So there's still and a so, lot of um, there's a lot of deduction going on there, still, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of um, subjectivity and how we interpret the the results. And because I, I don't know if we'll really ever kind of get past that in the immediate immediate future, because it's just we're just not philosophically even advanced enough to right. answer the question. Okay. Look, I I'm, I appreciate you try to answer the question for us. That's Carla Clark, Doctor Carla Clark. She's from the uh, Brain Blogger website. We thought we'd try and answer that after um, thinking about making insects a bigger part of our diet. How on earth do you find out if an animal's got an emotion?